Frustrating inconsistency in the data, this failure to find a clear male or female brain type led to a revolutionary shift in thinking. Pioneered by neuroscientist Daphne Joel, this new paradigm is called the mosaic brain hypothesis, and it shatters the binary completely. The theory posits that our brains are not one of two preset models. Instead, each and every brain is a unique and intricate mosaic of features. Imagine a mosaic artist with two palettes of tiles. One contains tiles with features more statistically common in males. Let's call them blue tiles for simplicity. The other contains tiles with features more statistically common in females, red tiles. The old view assumed that brains were built almost entirely from one palette or the other. The mosaic hypothesis proves this wrong. What we actually see is that most brains are a complex mix and match. A single brain might have a blue amygdala, a red hippocampus, and a cortical thickness that is neither typically male nor female. It might have some connectivity patterns common in males and other patterns common in females. The final picture is not a solid color. It is a unique, personalized mosaic. It is a neurological fingerprint. According to Professor Joel's research, brains that are purely male or purely female in all their features are exceedingly rare, almost non-existent. The vast majority of us are living with a brain that is an unpredictable and beautiful patchwork of characteristics.